name is Thomas Fisk. I'm from next door. Oh yes, I remember. My name is Gwendolyn. I was, well it's silly really, I just... Well I wondered if you might want some company. He didn't, he didn't want, want to break her. This is the story of a man called Ernest Hemel. It's also the story of a young girl called Gwendolyn and a young man called Thomas. And their stories are intertwined with each other, but you don't really find out how the stories are intertwined until the very end of the play. So I'm not going to tell you that because I don't want to give the twist away with the plot. But it's, um, it's a suspense thriller, kind of a bit horror, a bit gothic, very uh, Tim Burton sort of um, Alfred Hitchcock type. Three, four, Five, six, seven. It's set in kind of the Victorian era in the UK and um, it's perfect for Halloween. Uh, that's why we chose it for this time of year. It's being produced by the Shrinking Violets who are a new collective of theatre makers and we wanted to do something really different that would really get people in the mood for Halloween. She smiled. Ernest, I've never seen that smile. But it's a really beautiful play as well, it's not just horror. The text is beautiful, the characters are really lovely and there's some I think there's some really interesting things in the play, which um, I think would be interesting for a lot of different audiences, even if you're maybe not a real theatre goer. There's quite a lot of things in this play which might appeal to you, perhaps that you weren't expecting to see. He was almost unaware of the pain. Heard no sounds of stirring. So the production stars Thomas Camilleri, Chris Galia, myself and Chiara Hisler. And um, it's interesting because we all play different parts. So while there are set roles and set storytelling, everybody does something different. And something that I really love about the piece is that we even make the sound effects ourselves. So it's, it's really different. Trust me, it's a completely different kind of theatre than anyone will have seen, I think, in Malta before. Mm -hmm. 